for years. Our world has been at peace. But something is coming. I can feel it. Dark forces are upon us. Let's go ahead and get into this review right here. The first one we're going to do is Warcraft. Everybody's played Warcraft except me. I don't know nothing about it. You've never played it? I've never played it. I don't do that nerd shit. You know, I play real games. Yeah, yeah, I man, play man. Doom. Yeah, I play Doom. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you go to hell with that game, mm -hmm. <laughs> fight demons and shit. It works. I don't fucking, you know. But, okay. <laughs> but everybody else in the world obviously has. I mean, there's people, celebrities out there that that play this this, this game, and that includes Duncan Jones, David Bowie. So you know, he didn't go off and be a rock star like his dad. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna stay home, and be a nerd, and play Warcraft all day. And they said, well, you know what? You are the perfect guy to come in and direct this motion picture. And a lot of people are saying, well, there's no way that they can mess this up as far as video game movies go because it's fantasy. Mm -hmm. I mean, all it is is Lord of the Rings. Just do what they did. It's all written for you. It's there. Yeah. You got a template out there. And this is very much similar to uh, any kind of fantasy story that you have out there. But along the lore of Lord of the Rings, too, so, uh, there's similarities there. You have humans fighting orcs. And the thing is, is that, now see, that's the thing about Lord of the Rings. You know, Lord of the Rings is kind of racist. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Lord, Lord of the Rings just said, them nigga orcs out there, they're all bad. Basically. They're yeah. all bad. No personality. No personality. <laughs> they're just all out there to just fuck the world up. And that's if, it. If you die, you come back whiter for some reason. <laughs> <Yeah>, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Right. But no, not Warcraft. Warcraft said, no, we're going we gonna to speak for the people, the orcs out there. Turns out that the humans have their thing going on. They're, all their races are getting along in peace, but then all of a sudden comes this race, the orcs, that no one has ever seen. And we spend a lot of time looking at the orcs and their world. And not, you know, yeah, okay, some of them are assholes, but then some of them are saying, look, man, I'm. <sighs> This ain't really my fight. You know, these humans ain't fuck with me. <laughs> this squirrel trying to get a nut. <laughs> yeah, hey, I'm, just a, I'm just a fork trying to get a nut, man. Humans ain't, hey, you know. Hey, hey, humans ain't never ain't, called me a nigga. Ain't, <laughs> yeah. ain't messing with me. So you get this whole thing where it's a deeper story with these fantasy creatures. The, the humans are trying to see what they can do to protect their land. I, all the time being fair with these orcs and saying, look, we don't know where you're from, but we will work with you. <laughs> Mainly because you a big motherfucker. You know? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> well, we have no choice, really. <laughs> That sounds kind of cool right there, you know, deep. And let me tell you something. There's a, when I, when I was watching this movie, I will say right now, I, I, when people come out and they say that this movie is awful, terrible. No, 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 no. You save awful and terrible for things that just don't, they, they just don't even try. Mm -hmm. You know, I ain't try with this. The world in this movie, the effects in this movie are fantastic, amazing. Everybody's talking about, well, oh, these orcs look kind of rubbery and they look like seeds. And you know what? You, you're trying to find something to talk about. You're nitpicking right there. These orcs in this movie are some of the most impressive special effects that I've seen, and not because of them being just expensive special effects. First of all, when we talk about what's happening in this movie here, as far as special effects goes, uh, we have... Incredible fight scenes, if you ask me. And the reason why I think they're incredible is because the characters, when in these battles, all these characters fight according to their race, according to their strengths, uh, their strengths exactly, mm -hmm. according to their, you know, their, their, their characteristics. Uh, humans are nimble. They fight with swords. They, they're speedy. They're fast. They got to be because the orcs, they go out there and they are huge and they got these big ass hammers. Mm-hmm. And if you ain't fast enough, ain't nimble enough, they will flatten the fuck out of you. They, oh, yes. <laughs> they come from the trees making pancakes out of people. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the horses always get it. They always get it. The horse was just standing there, man. Horse wasn't doing a thing, nobody. You know the. Well, I only carried him here because he made me. <laughs> that was probably with the piss. You know, it's uh, it, it's incredible. 
Shit, they should have brought some syrup. They're making pancakes. <laughs> and it's funny. I know it's corny. I know it's corny. I had to do it because every time they them hammers were swinging, every time mm. I, every time they swung the hammers, I was thinking of MC Hammer, man, Hammer Time. <laughs> hammer Time. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do it. That's all I kept thinking, man. Um, it's uh, and they're brutal, as you saw right there. I mean, that's the cool thing. You know, the the they get by because all the humans are in armor. You know, but you know there's soup and stuff. Like, <laughs> you might as well just get a soup can and just crush that <laughs> shit. Just, what yeah. the hell was that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they get away with the, without showing you gore because they're in armor, but it is, it is brutal. I mean, you feel the crunch. You you feel the bones breaking. But I'm talking about the action right here. How'd y'all feel about the effects? Huh? You mean, y'all? Uh, I mean, you mean like the, the CG? I think when the, when the orcs or just... Uh the other creatures that ain't here when they're by themselves it looks fantastic but when they're interacting with humans that's when it kind of <coughs> it kind of goes into that uncanny valley mode so it, it kind of feel like the interaction between uh when you when you do see them together it does it, it kind of throws you off but like again when they usually from the majority of this movie each race stays with themselves so humans majority of the time are talking to humans orcs to orcs yeah and when you see that and it's just them and and they're emoting like i feel like it's some of the best uh facial animations they had since avatar like, yeah you feel the pain in their faces yeah so you like the way the 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 orcs looked at him. I, I yeah. love the way they look. I love the way they look, man. You, yeah, me too. Okay, I was about to, I was about to say, uh, man, I was about to say, wait a minute now. <laughs> about to take your own head and hit you with it. He pulls out a hammer. <laughs> no. He pulled out a hammer. <laughs> it is one of these things where, from the trailer, I thought they looked rubbery and it all looked fake, like video game cutscenes. But to see it, where this is what happens when you actually do that last rendering pass, where it's all very smooth and uh, they look very nat- like the movements were natural and subtle mm-hmm. and. And the thing that that really impressed me about the orcs is how much design went into all the characters. I mean, they're they're you know each one of them is cluttered with all the the trophies from things they've killed before, and they, they've built their armor out of bones, and each one is unique. And they got it all to move, and they mm-hmm. have big battle scenes where it wasn't glitchy. And yeah, this fight is a is a perfect example because all the physics physics play out in such a a realistic way that you just buy it. And every time a human gets hit, it ain't no like. Like, oh, I'm going to flip around or I'm going to slide on my feet. <coughs> it is just smash. Oh, hell no. <laughs> You're done. Sometimes some dude thought he was doing some cool shit and would slide and yeah. would slide right into a hand. Be like, ah! <laughs> and, um, and, yeah, you see them mostly with themselves. But by the time they interacted with the humans, I don't know. They, they had sold me on it, so I didn't have that uncanny yeah, vast. I, 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 thought it worked, I thought it worked out better. Like, the last time it was even close to that good was the Hulk and Avengers. Well, you know, the reason why it works is because, I mean, we're showing you action. We're talking about how they fight, how big they are, how scary they look. And that's cool. That's the special effects part. But it's when you get down to the subtleties of their acting is when I was really impressed with this. Uh, You have, uh, you know, really, I'm scared at this point. Because this is how it all happens. Because all you actors out there, you better start respecting I'm glad these I computers. Ain't no actor. <laughs> you better start respecting in, in these 10 computers. Years, <laughs> yeah. You ain't gonna handle job. Yeah, man. I dare you in ten years to act a fool at the studio. They yep. would just they would just <laughs> render your ass out. <laughs> yep. It's gonna be like when you sign the contract, they're gonna have you step into a machine and they're gonna digitize you and like, well, we got it. So if you don't want to sign this contract, yeah. we and, don't need and, you no more. And dares you to say something. <laughs> so, <laughs> and then you know the. It's uh, the, the motion capture is what makes it here. It's not just the rendering. It's not just the design. It's the motion capture. You have a uh, who is it? A uh, Toby Kebbell? Toby Kebbell, your boy. Toby Kebbell, who did uh, C- uh, Caesar, right? No, he was no, the he other did one. And Coba. Coba. And Coba. That's right. That's right. And uh, this other actor here is uh, Robert Kaczynski. Who, uh, if you look at look at this scene right here, the 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 the, the subtle drama between these two actually has, in, in my opinion, and I'm gonna expand on this a little bit more but more humanity than some of the humans the actual humans in the in the in the film we lost our home when Gul'dan came to power one orc cannot kill a world at a time are you sure look around you does it not remind you of something well, wherever Gul'dan right? works his magic <laughs> the land dies <laughs> if our people are to make a home here my friend Gul'dan must be stopped. We are not powerful enough to defeat Gul'dan. No. No. With the human's help, we could be. You know, it's funny because 
behind Corey and Martin over there. Because all these, man, all these orcs, they all have different hairstyles. Like some of them got perms, you know, <laughs> some of them got cornrows. I mean, and was, y'all, was sitting, boy, y'all, y'all was sitting in front of some ghetto chicks. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. one girl, what'd she say? He got cornrows, girl. He got cornrows. Girl. He got cornrows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. And that was like the first 15 minutes yeah, of the was. movie. Yeah. <laughs> girl, where he get his head did? <laughs> Laquanda did it. Laquanda, right? <laughs> That's Laquanda's work right there. And my cousin got teeth like that. <laughs> Oh, and all you hipsters out there, especially Austin, y'all ain't got shit on these orcs. All these piercings y'all got, mm. they pierce their teeth. Yeah. yeah. Now, see, y'all do that shit. Watch that Don't shit Don't give them a no. yeah. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, yeah, you're going to have tattoo shop doing dentistry now. <laughs> oh, I look like an orc now. But it's, uh, it's really cool when I'm watching these orcs. I wish there had just been a whole movie of orcs. Yeah. Because I was enjoying this, man. I was... I was saying, man, you know what? This is, I don't know what people are talking about with their reviews. I don't know why people are so hard on this film. I don't, I'm really feeling the, the emotion in this movie right now. And then the humans had to start talking. <laughs> and I was like, and, and really the humans ain't saying a goddamn thing. And your it, boy it, Preacher up there. Uh, uh, Dominic Cooper. Dominic Cooper? Dominic Cooper, yeah. Well, man, it was, uh, who is it on Vikings, man? Uh, R or something, I think? No, the, the, the dude, if, I don't watch Vikings. My girl loves Vikings. Travis Fimmel. Yeah. Tra- like, man, all the actors, the humans in this in this movie, I don't know what they're talking about. They're really taking this seriously. It, and they're all kind of stone-faced, except for your boy from, uh, from Vikings, <laughs> Tra- Travis Fimmel. He looks like he's tweaking through the whole film. Mm-hmm. Every movie I see, this, I just we just saw him in a movie. What did we just see him in? Maggie's playing. Oh, that was him. That was him. Oh, and remember he, how he, he did look look like he was tweaking through that whole movie. He looks like everything I've seen this dude in. He looked like he's on some shit. You know, his eyes always yeah, big. He's, yeah. he's always got these ticks. I, I know what he's doing, man. When he's walking on set, but there's something going on. With <laughs> like this if dude. you know a guy who gets drunk all the time, even when he's not drunk, he looks like he is. Yeah, he yeah. has that kind of look to him. Yeah. Yeah, always looking like he's looking for a hit. <laughs> you, <know? laughs> you hold him? You hold him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I'm looking at the humans in this movie, and here's where we uh, here's where we start getting to the flaws, man. Really, in this movie, if you ain't green, 500 pounds, and throwing a big-ass hammer around, then you really, to me, ain't got shit to say. I, I, uh, and it's because... I, I know that they went into this movie with love. You can feel that they're trying to bless this movie's heart. They are trying to make a good film. Mm-hmm. Duncan Jones, he's invested in this. They, and, and that is where the problem for me lies. He is too invested to the point where this movie is so serious that I don't feel anything for these characters. They're all stone-faced. They're all delivering their lines so stoically and almost snobbishly with their noses up in the air and Oh, where do you come from? And, and to me, that really, that really hurts the character development in this. I mean, it's almost that they, it's almost they, like they're saying, okay, nobody laugh. Nobody even smile. Because if you do, they ain't going to take us seriously. And we want people to appreciate this right here. God damn it. Come on. See, I told you he was high. Look at <laughs> Action. He look, he look at you like, really, Corey? <laughs> action. God damn it. Action. You'll take us to them. Or you'll end up like your friend in the cage. You think you're fearsome? Or children have pets more fearsome than you? We're not trying to be fearsome, Bruno. We're trying to protect our people, our families. If you help us, I give you my oath. You will have your freedom. Yeah, you know, they, she got that's, that's Paula Patton right there as a, a half breed orc, Corona. And she's like, she's trying to do Hamlet through them uh, walrus teeth. She got, <laughs> I'm just like, even though she's fine as hell, though, man. No, there were times where, like, you would see her lick her lips. She's like, ah, ah. No, and so, anyway, I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, she got that. I mean, she's fine with that Dracula underbite she got. <laughs> I was looking at it, and, you know, and then, you, like you said, we have, uh, what's his Dominic name? Cooper. Dominic Cooper there. And, they're doing their job, then that that and that's and I appreciate them. Everybody is taking this seriously, but the the script that they have is just so heavy, and is just trying to make sure that all of us appreciate this material to mm-hmm. the point where Do, uh, uh, Duncan Jones has loved this too much to he squeezed the life out of this well, thing. Man, I think to, to back that up, one of the things he did to I think try to get people more into it or be, make them make them be able to keep up with it is that he says everyone's name. 
like 17 times. Like they've introduced themselves to the, uh, each other and the audience. But like, hello, Corona. How are you doing, Corona? <laughs> Those have some nice hair, Corona. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Like we know that's her name, too. And like he, he's trying to, and, and, and it, it, it goes to the point where you're saying that, that you know he's he's shoving too much in here, but I feel like he's trying to he's trying to you know do something where all right if you're not a fan of it I can try to keep you up with it but if you are a fan you're gonna get all this shit and enjoy it yeah mm -hmm. I right, go ahead Marty you want to say something here uh I don't know I didn't have as big a problem with this as you guys seem to have uh, Dominic Cooper yes he was he was he just seemed like you know him and and Ruth Nega like like they were shooting preacher and they got done and it's like. We need a king and somebody else. Can y'all come over here? And they did, and they seem to be kind of sleepwalking through it. Um, and Dominic Cooper's just a bad fit. But everybody else, I, I thought worked out well. Uh, who's who's the the main hero here? Uh, 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 I, I totally do from Vikings. Vikings. Yeah, just say Vikings. 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 <laughs> yeah. uh, no, wait, Travis well, Fimmel. Uh, Travis Fimmel. Well, he, well, I I liked his character because he had a way of being like, yeah, he's he's sort of the human hero of the piece. Uh, at times, he's kind of an asshole. Um, it, a little bit of that, that uh, Harrison Ford swagger that he's like he, he does throw humor I mean if anybody's being playful with it at times it's him and that, not certainly not always but this is, there's some humor coming from him uh, you have the young magic user and there's a, there's a little bit of comedy there uh, I was real happy to see Ben Foster who is willing to play just anything. I mean, that guy, that guy would just bounce all over the place okay. and different things. I, that, see, you and I really disagree on that because Ben Foster's in the movie, and if there's uh, that's the one actor that looks like, uh, you know what, why the fuck did I sign up to do this? He has, throughout the film, he has, he has one expression, and it's blank, and he delivers his lines all dead no matter what kind of great broad action is happening. Have a good look around. Get some ideas what you're going to do with the place once it's yours. Guardian, I renounced my vow. I didn't want to come here. I swear, Guardian. I urged them to find you. I told them. You should be the one to explain. Explain what? Vow. Like damn, I cracked my ass ball right there. She's like, ooh, you know, I, I, I think I'm caught that, in between. That, that, that was his, just his character. Yeah, I like. I feel like with Ben Foster, that was the character he was supposed to play. So he was like, all right, I'm just supposed to be this all powerful being that you know can just keep it cool and kick ass. Yeah, that's yeah. what he did. But I, it, it did feel like it was very monotone. Like he could have added a little bit more. Well, it was too. one of these things where there's a, I don't know, there's sort of a split where when he first came on, I felt like he had a lot. Mm -hmm. Like there was dimension to him. It was kind of a mystery. The later it went on, it's like like he disappears for a while, and when he comes back, it is more of a one note thing. But there was just I don't know, just how the script was. I mean, we just seen him in that movie uh, with Chris Pine, where he was like an old fat dude, and now here he is back to you know being yeah. svelte and playing a different different role. I was I, I I just didn't see it, and that's the problem with the movie for me, man. Why? Because I, I, I was really going with this. I mean. You had the nerds in there who played Warcraft. They were into it. They were having a good time. I said, Let, you know, let them have it. Mm. This is cool. Besides, this is almost done anyway. And I looked down at my phone. I said, oh, sweet Jesus. We got another hour. This shit. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, oh, Lord, I can't. Hey, man, I was riding this ride for a while. And I, I need to kind of get off in a little while. And it was going and going. And the, and the more it goes on, the more, for me, this is a fan film. Yeah. This is, this. if you are a fan of Warcraft, then that's cool. You go ahead and enjoy it. I'm not going to sit up here and try to take that from you, but I will say that I think people who enjoy Warcraft, the majority of them, are the ones that are going in there and they're liking this because of the recognizability of the, the property, the things that they can see, the Easter eggs, they can recognize this world and finally see it come to life because that's what I, I they, man, there was some nerds sitting in front of me and they were geeking the fuck out through this whole this mm -hmm. whole thing. I mean, I had to tell them to shut up. It was two nerds in front of me. They were describing everything and both of them knew what it was, but they just, if they look at that, that's the fucking field from the, that's, the, that's that blade of grass from that scene right there. And I, I, it was, I mean, I, I got to tell you, I was so, and I, was, I was having fun watching it enjoy it i had uh, just a little side story <laughs> i had look i hate ruining people's funds but they were pissing one woman off and i did a friend of ours i can yeah. tell that because uh, i saw them because she was like could y'all please be quiet hey she had to ask those nerds to be quiet three times three times and yeah three times and the, and the more she asked the louder she was getting Yo, I, said, I, ain't consider. I was like oh jesus somebody gotta take hold of this shit this situation so i i, I noticed they were just 
ignore her because she was a woman. Mm -hmm. So when they started getting, because there was a point where it was loud, no matter how nerdy and how much they loved this, they just start talking. They start having a conversation. Yeah, man, I remember this part right there. I got past this level the other day, and I just re I leaned over him and I whispered. That. It was almost like I was about to rape him. I got into his ear. I said, "Shit." The fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> you saw it. Is that what happened, Porno Chris? <laughs> yeah, and you know what? He didn't say a fucking word the rest of the time. In fact, I he didn't even turn his head. I mean, he soaked in every frame of that film because he didn't why, move. Why didn't you turn around and say that to those ghetto chicks sitting behind you? Oh, because they were funny. <laughs> Girl, that's what you want to be? Girl, you crazy. Yeah, I had a good time with him. Oh, he just smashed him. Girl, watch this. Watch this guy. I, I bet. I bet. Oh. I bet. Yeah. Oh, don't, don't, don't go in there. Yeah. I, look, point is, I was trying to let people have it. But the, the flaw in this for anybody else, if you're, you're being thrown into this world. And the, as the story goes on, it, for anybody who's not initiated into this world, it becomes more convoluted. The story does. Things just start to happen that I don't need. People start turning to creatures and <laughs> this magic started happening. And things mm -hmm. start coming to life. And I'm, I'm sitting up there. I don't know what the fuck is happening right now. They're talking about the fail and like, well, I guess like the force or something. I, you know, I, I don't, I, and you know, the, the, when I was, it, it really wasn't that hard to understand. <laughs> man, it, it, it's a convoluted story, man. It's, 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 if, and I would, I would say anybody, Cause I can tell you, cause Martin, I knew you would like this shit. Cause somebody compared this. They said this is just like Battlefield Earth back in the day. I said Mark gonna love this shit. Listen to my own again. <laughs> so, so was it Battlefield Earth to you? I never saw Battlefield Earth. <laughs> but, but I've heard it's it's horrible, Martin. But I, I you know. Just watch this movie sideways. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Didn't didn't uh, didn't uh, uh, didn't John Travolta have cornrows like this? Like no, this organ in the movie? Yeah, he had dreads. dreads like he had dreads. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, you know, look, man, I'm sorry. I I really w want to enjoy this, and I think that it's a film where it's something that's going to be hard for people who don't know Warcraft that well to get into. That is why Lord of the Rings worked because they had. I sat with these characters for an hour. And I had to say, you know what? I've been here with these characters for an hour, and I don't know anything about them. I went as far as do I feel close to them? No. Do I feel any? Do I feel any urgency for them? No. As far as I'm concerned, they're just spouting off lines, typical lines for a fantasy film. Mm -hmm. And I and I felt no closeness to this at all. I know a lot of people are complaining about this movie needing more fun, and I'm not gonna be one because when when he say that, then the defenders come in and like, well, what you want a fart joke and then do slapstick and no. It needs a little levity to it because at some point, it, it, because it's a dark film. It's a, it's a film without that much heart, really. I mean, it's, it's a brutal film in a way. And you just needed some kind of bonding with some characters. You needed some people to just kind of lighten up that you got to slow down and know them first. Lord of the Rings works because we know, not because of all the fantasy and stuff, because we're introduced to... The, uh, the the unlikely hero. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we get to know Frodo, and you get to meet characters gradually, and you get to know gr yeah characters characters gradually. You get to know them. Not here, you were just thrown into this world. Mm -hmm. And the and the thing that m pisses me off the most about it is that this is fucking set up for another movie. This is all pretty much a setup for a series that might not even happen. Now it could because it's killing over in China, yeah, where man. you know they have the most uh, online players. And no robots either. And no robots. That, that, that's a feat right there. You know, I, they, they love, well, there's a whole lot of CG in there. They just love computer shit over there. I mean, they think they playing the game when they see the movies. <laughs> <laughs> they out there with keyboards and mouses. Uh -huh. <laughs> killing it right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just, just walking the movie with their thumbs just doing this shit. You know? <laughs> but I, it, it's, uh, no, nah, I, 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 I think that it needed not to be funny, not to be a comedy. We needed relatable characters and didn't have it. We needed a relatable story. Didn't have it because... It's just something that really wants to just uh, spout off the mythology that's already in, existing in the game and not really a guide given to the people who uh, are new to this. But hey, that's just me. I know Martin's like, oh, you're just nitpicking now. But I was going to say you're nitpicking. You feel like how you feel. And you made, your, you made salient points, and they weren't nitpicking. Oh, really? Yeah. That's a first. Yeah. I mean, look, look, I just didn't feel the way you felt, but it doesn't mean you're wrong. I mean, well, you, there's, there's nothing you said that I would say like, man, that's some bullshit. Only thing I would say that I disagree with you on is that, while, <laughs> is that while I've played Warcraft before, I don't know anything about the mythology. All I knew was like I was playing a, a, a 
we call a tower defender game, um, you know, where I just a- added things as I got more points. That's 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 all it is to me. <coughs> but I still enjoyed this on a certain level. Now I know a lot of it is expectations. One was that I was reading how what a piece of Battleship Earth shit it was, but also mm-hmm. with fantasy movies, I have an expectation of. I have a, a kind of a lowered expectation of what they're going to be. I know what they're mostly like. I know the Lord of Rings movies, that's, that's the higher you know, echelon of that. And even with that, I, like, I, I love the first Lord of the Rings movie. And I really like the first Hobbit movie. And I like the third Lord of the Rings movie because it ties everything up. But I probably had, got more enjoyment out of this than I did the second Lord of the Rings movie and, and the, the last two Hobbit movies. In as much as, uh, you know, it's, it's still... It, even at two hours, it's still more compact. I mean, they just don't have the time here to tell that long, Lord, that like if they could have had a Fellowship of the Ring where you got to know everybody, yeah, that'd be awesome. But they they don't have that, and I realize that. I I know what it's going to be, and more often than not, it surprised me in the things that it did right. Uh, but what you say about the human characters, you know, hey man, you're not wrong. I just I I felt more for them than otherwise, and I didn't have a mythology to back me up. I'm just like, hey, I'm here for. An, an enjoyable action pack uh, uh, fantasy romp, which normally I don't even like fantasy movies that much. And this one I was like, eh, I feel more positive and negative about it. You know, and I'll tell you something. I really think the story goes from not being, you know, very good except for people who are into it. I'm like, okay, for them, maybe adequate to just downright bad. There's a scene here where Glenn Close just comes out of nowhere. <laughs> out of nowhere. And it, was, and it was so weird when she popped up because she's there for a second. Now, Glenn Close is an amazing actor. Our actress, and I'm not saying that she still ain't got it today. I mean, she's if you cast her in something, she'll still be a name, but she ain't big enough to be put in a movie as a small cameo for people to go, oh, this shit is Glenn Close, and then she's gone. She didn't even know she was there. You know, she, she looked. <laughs> like, she like was, they just woke her up out of bed and they yeah, filmed her. Put this on. Her. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the look at her. She got, she's still got crust in her eyes. And she look at her. She filmed it. Somebody went, world star. Yeah. <laughs> she, she's like, where am I? She said, what you on? I was just taking a shower five minutes ago. You know, she know, it's it's weird. It's it's almost, it's that's terrible, terrible storytelling. That character doesn't even mean anything unless it's something they want to set up later. But for us who don't even know if there's going to be a sequel, we don't know that it was like it was like uh, 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 Judy Dench from uh, Chronicles of Riddick. Oh yeah, where she was just in there, like, why the fuck? Is she here? I'm a ghost. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. And she's like, holy shit, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, one of the things about, I mean, you said you didn't like how we, we, you got thrown into the middle of it. I really enjoyed that aspect of it because I don't really care about. I mean, some, from somebody that knows, I'm not gonna say all the lore, but like a good chunk of it. It's a lot of stuff that happens before this is all just built up to this. So when they throw us in the middle of it, I'm like, all right, dope. Is you know, you get into the war part, and you're. I think we're all in agreement on this. The humans are the worst part of this movie, um, and I didn't care about their story at all. But when it came to the orcs, I was actually invested. I wanted to know more about you know what's going on with his family, um, and like even like scenes right here when it's it's him and his kid, and you know his his wife's with him. Like those are really endearing scenes, and it's, that shows off the CGI amazingly. Um, when it comes to this, I feel like if you are if you are a fan of this this or uh, World, World of Warcraft or just uh, Warcraft in general, you're gonna have a ball with it. You're you're gonna be like, oh man, I know this this uh, yeah, this thing right there. Well, no, that's the thing. Like they they paid so much attention to like the detail in the world. Like it actually felt like the size of Azeroth. And so, like the whole time, you're saying, "Oh, I went down that uh, that alleyway in Stormwind. I, I remember going there in Ironforge. I remember going to Northrend. And it just sounds like gibberish to people that don't know what it is. But the people that are listening to, it are like, oh yeah, I can't wait to see that. So, like, I'd give them that. But when you come to when it comes to you know the general audience, I think they're gonna feel really lost. And it is because it is a really muddled story. Yeah, I, huh. I, I, I just I didn't feel. I lost. know you always. I got it. I'm I'm telling you, the most of the people that go in there, they're gonna be like, I don't know what the fuck's happened. I can tell you. I, but, I, well, I, I, but I can't rate this based on those people. But who I, I don't am know. that person. <laughs> and this is a movie that they want to put out there for the general audience. Mm-hmm. They want this movie to succeed. They want people to appreciate this this movie. They want people. They want more people to get into Warcraft. And meanwhile, I'm just thinking, you know what? I, as a casual viewer who knows nothing about this, I feel that this this is a little arrogant right here too. That you would set this up for a whole series and not try to concentrate on a tangible story for a person like me. To the point, I even got biblical with this. I thought it just got, I rolled my eyes when they had the Moses orc. 
oh, going yeah, yeah. You know, I was like, oh, Jesus, come on, man. That's you know, the chicks behind us said, oh, he Moses. I was like, <laughs> yeah. kidding me. Oh, no, that was me, man. <laughs> <laughs> he Moses. <laughs> Corey about to get corn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, I, I thought, come on. You know, there's some things that before you get that heavy into it, just try to calm down, tell a coherent story for, for the people that you want to get endeared to this. And then we can talk. Then we can work. Right now, I just felt like I was in a room with people playing Dungeon and Dragons. The room was locked. I couldn't get out. <laughs> and the people playing the game didn't even bother to fill me in. Mm -hmm. They just kept playing and didn't even give a fuck about me. It's like a person who's really into Warcraft t geeking out and telling you about Warcraft mm -hmm. instead of getting you into it. I mean, they're sitting up there talking and telling you all the stuff you don't know. And you're like, I don't really give a shit, man. Now, if you make it fun for me and make me interested, then I'm going to want to go and watch people play the game as I will want to watch people uh, with this movie or watch, uh, watch this film. I don't think it's as bad as people are saying. I think that it has some really great elements in there, but it's not coherent enough for me to say that this is something I can recommend outside of fans of the game. That's why I'm giving this a rental. What about you, man? Solid, man. Um, if you are, again, if you're a fan Righteous, of Warcraft. <laughs> groovy, dude. Um, <laughs> if you are a fan of Warcraft, you're going to have a ball with this movie. You're going to just... Any, anything, anytime you see something that just came out straight out of the game, you're going to lose your shit like those guys in front of you did. Um, there's this subtle uh, nods to just basically even, even small things like casting times they talk about in this. So you'll be like, oh, wow, I can't believe they brought that up. That was pretty dope. Uh, but again, if this is for the, the, the regular audience, the general audience. And if you are a Warcraft fan, matinee, a solid matinee. But if you're like everybody else that, you know, doesn't know a lot about Warcraft and you've never, never, ever, ever played the game, this is a rental, man. I got to agree with you on that. And you know what? I got to agree with you. All you Warcraft fans out there, don't get mad at me. I'll even go as far as to give you a full price away. Those nerds were yanking their dicks in front of me. I mean, you know. I feel like there should be a scale to this. Like, if you yeah. played over, like, 900 hours, it's a full price. It's like, <laughs> if it's, like, <laughs> 900 to 450, Matt Nate. Okay. All right, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Yeah, they're, like, under that. Right on. <laughs> Martin. Uh, well, I guess I come somewhere in the middle because, uh, like, like I said, I played a little bit, know nothing about the mythology, but I enjoyed it for what it was, or so at least what they were giving to me. I didn't, I didn't find it confusing at all, and um, I didn't have the moments of going like, "Ooh, I know what that is." But I'm like, I, I get that, and this is this is that kind of tale. And for me, it was a a low uh, matinee. So you did play the game. That's why you probably are more attached to this than someone like I. Man, man I'm telling you, it'd be like playing cl Clash of K Clans or something. I don't <laughs> Clash of Titans. Yeah, yeah. So you cl probably cl picked up on some things, and maybe you know, you're like, oh, that's dope. I've seen that. That's that's the thing because you you do have a minor attachment to it because you're like, oh yeah, I know orcs and you know elves and all these other. Yeah, things but orcs and elves are in Lord of the Rings too. Yeah. But, man, come and, on. And, and, <laughs> and, and I, I will give this a full price for you Warcraft fans. Rental for me, but those Warcraft fans, they at the end of the movie, it was like. Five of them in a real hardcore. They were like, "Yes, yes!" <laughs> Except for that dude, I told him shut the fuck up. He's like, "Yeah." Mm -hmm. I Can I clap, sir? <laughs> 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 Quieter, please. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> you got corals. <laughs> you side with the humans against your own kind. This is suicide. We have no choice. We should attack with full force. Whatever you plan to do, do it now! 